running a little bit late today. The first time I got out the door, I forgot my smoothie and that's just not an option. And I have an activity today. So, we got an activity this morning, so it's really important that I'm not late today. So I'm booking it to school right now. Today I have two students who are giving a conversation on hoverboards presentation. And right now they're practicing because they're a little nervous. So I'm just chilling out, enjoying the sunshine. Got out of school a little early today. Um, most of the teachers had to go to like this activity going on, but the foreign teachers just got to leave early, so that was cool. And right now the sun is out, just soaking it in, and um, gonna hop in the pool for a swim here pretty soon. Alright, so I just finished dinner there. That was a Penang curry. And uh, ended up doing about 3,000 meters in the pool there. So that was good times. A few questions here. These are like frequently asked, recently asked questions. Um, first one is Can I get a job with XYZ degree or diploma? You know, I get a lot of specific questions, people asking if their specific degree or diploma or if a high school education or whatever to see if it's going to be enough to get a job teaching English in Thailand. Um, I believe that the official policy of the government is currently that you need a bachelor's degree to get a work permit in Thailand. But the thing is, is in Thailand it seems that things are rarely black and white. So my advice to anybody who's thinking about getting a job, regardless of what degree you have, is to apply for some jobs. So find some jobs online and just send your resume and just see what happens, you know, because if a company knows that they're not going to be able to get you a work permit then because of something, then they're either not going to email you back or whatever, right? So the, you know, the best way to go about it is to just try. Just try and see what happens. Um, next question is, do you have any tips for first timers coming to Thailand, to people who haven't come to Thailand before? Um, I'd say like, you know, I mean, well number one is the sun's going to be really strong, if you're, especially if you're coming from a country, you know, it's not so close to the equator, so don't underestimate the sun because you know, I still get burnt all the time because I forget how strong the sun is here. So don't underestimate the sun. Second thing would, I'd say is like try to learn some Thai before you come. Like check out some videos. I've got some videos you know, on my channel of speaking Thai or you know, ordering vegan food in Thai, stuff like that. But there's tons of, you know, well I should say, there's a few other channels out there that are pretty popular and they've got um, you know, t advice teaching Thai. You, know, you can just pick up some Thai before you get here and try to learn as much Thai as you can while you're here. Even if you're only here for like a week or two weeks or a month or whatever, you know, you can at least, you know, learn your numbers, 
you know, learn how to say just basic little daily things, and it'll just make your experience a lot better. So try to learn some Thai, watch out for the sun, drink a lot of water, because it's going to be really hot, drink a lot of water. Um, I would also advise not, <laughs> not eating meat. Well, I mean, I'd advise that anyways, but like, I don't know. Like, most, most of like food poisoning that happens seems to happen with like seafood and meats and stuff like that. Like, you're better off sticking to vegetable, vegetarian dishes, vegan dishes. Um, what else? What other advice? Oh yeah, first, first timers like, well anybody coming to Thailand, like, have a bike. Rent a bike or bring your bike. I mean bicycle, I don't mean motorcycle. That's probably another thing is don't, if you've never ridden a motorcycle or a scooter in your life, you know, you'll see lots of people riding motorcycles and scooters here. And there's a lot of tourists who injure themselves, hurt themselves, die each year because they get here and they think, oh, all the Thais are riding motorcycles, I'll just rent a motorcycle and just pretend that I've been driving my whole life. And then they, you know, they get overconfident on their second or third day and they crash, you know, so watch out for that. Um, yeah, those would be main things. And if you are going to rent a scooter, be really, really careful. You know, don't rent, like, one of these super fast ones. Just rent a basic scooter. Take it really easy. Wear a helmet. And make sure that you really check it out before so that, you know, you don't bring it back and then have them say, oh, there's a scratch on this or whatever, and it wasn't even your fault for the scratch. Like, you didn't even put the scratch on it, and then they'll try to charge you. That's also for, like, sea dues if you go to you know, the south of Thailand and you rent a sea or something like that, make sure you really check it out. Um, so yeah, I guess that's enough for now for tips for first timers coming to Thailand. Um, another question, are you planning on entering any endurance competitions in the future? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think the next thing I'm going to do is uh, just like a sprint triathlon. So that's kind of a short thing, but I do want to do a half Ironman and eventually an full Iron Ironman. I'm going to do a marathon in November. I'm going to do the Bangkok Marathon. And yeah, I would like to get into like longer endurance events as well. I think that's super cool. Um, next question are, what is healthcare like in Thailand? Healthcare, can you afford insurance in Thailand? I do get um, coverage, like healthcare coverage through my company. And um, the quality of healthcare in Thailand, in my experience, has been just fantastic. You know, it's not very expensive and it's like really good quality. A lot of people travel to Thailand specifically for the healthcare, you know. So, yeah, double thumbs up so far. I, I, basically, all I've had, like, I've got, uh, I've had some B12 injections done at the doctor, um, had some dental work done basically all I had was just like I had a permanent retainer on the bottom of my teeth that kept coming out so then I just had it removed and then had a retainer like a night retainer made which is great and I t when I went back to Canada I brought the retainer had them check it out they were like yep looks great and it was way cheaper here than it would have been in Canada um, and then I had the stitches in my toe and they did a fantastic job you know with the stitches it's great now it's totally healed up didn't cost much at all so yeah, insurance, healthcare in Thailand, it's all good. Seems to be all good. Um, and probably last question here, I'll wrap it up, it's getting kind of long. A lot of people ask, like, how do you ride your bicycle in traffic, you know? Like, I like to ride my bike in Bangkok, I ride my bike pretty much anywhere, you know? Um, and I definitely, like, I definitely, like I, like I was saying before, I definitely recommend riding a bicycle in Thailand, but if you're not comfortable, on a bike, then I wouldn't recommend going onto like you know busy roads where cars are going like 100 kilometers an hour right away. You know, like do stay within your comfort zone. Um, yeah, but like how do I do it? I don't know. I feel comfortable doing it because I've kind of worked my way up in different settings on my bike. I've got a few years of experience now. Um, I'm always really cautious whenever I'm in traffic or riding my bike anywhere, you know, always wear a helmet, always have lights if it's, um, you know, if it's dark outside. But yeah, I just, I feel comfortable with it. So, you know, I'd recommend for you just ride where you feel comfortable. If you just feel comfortable riding on really quiet country roads and do that, you know, there's tons of awesome exploring that you can do, you know, on those types of roads. And, uh, you know, just sort of work your way into traffic as you feel comfortable. So. 
yeah, I think I'll wrap it up there. Probably getting pretty long this video already. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. I'm gonna really try to get to bed early tonight. I know I keep saying that, but now it's like 6.30. I ate nice and early, got out of school early. And hopefully I'm gonna get up tomorrow and go on a nice 10K. This morning I did. What did I do this morning? Oh yeah, this morning I didn't run. Because <laughs> I got to bed kind of late last night and I figured I'll just, you know, sleep today. Had a nice long swim. And tomorrow I'm gonna get up, go for a nice long run. And uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.